three complete games. What can TCU do for an encore? Were they on fire? 44 runs at the Fayetteville Regional. This guy is just a great strike thrower. Needs to be pitching around 88 or 89 to get optimal movement on his fastball. We need more from him today. Swung on and missed, and that's going to... 3-1 pitch to Taylor. Missed it. And he's going to swing at the first pitch, and it's a mortar to short center field. Gurgley will camp under it. And Cole Klecker, freshman out of Chandler, Arizona, is going to get the start. The winningest pitcher in the Big 12 this year. Randall Diaz leading it off. Josue Urdaneta is the second baseman. Luis Hernandez in the DH spot. Breaking ball, and it's into center field for a base hit. Yeah. Good patience by Diaz. Junior Adam Pottinger swings at the first pitch. It's a looping liner. It's going to be easily handled. TCU designated hitter Curtis Byrne latches into one. Base hit in front of Pottinger. We have two of the hottest teams in the country right now in college baseball. If you go back to May the 1st, both of these teams are 17 and 2. And he swings at the first pitch. This is destined for the gap. It's going to run all the way to the wall. Burn to third. He's being waved around. He's going to try to score. Here comes the throw, and he's out by a mile. Into third goes Silva. Boy, did the defense for the Sycamores get that back in quick. Burn trying to score from first base is the second out of the inning. Talk about textbook. Cutoff and relays. Little comebacker. Jason. Indiana State won the Missouri Valley Conference regular season and the tournament. 45 wins, the most in the Mitch Hanna's era. And use your defense. Keegan Watson leading it off, and he barrels one up into left field. Second inning in a row, the Sycamores get the leadoff man on. Swung out and missed. Struck him out. 2 2 from Klecker. Got him. Back-to-back -back K's for the freshman. Here it comes from Klecker. Missed it down, walked him. 2-2 pitch from Klecker. Got it! And TCU will wiggle off the hook. Velo being important at 88-89. Austin Davis with the line drive home run to left field, Coach. We're going to let you go. Okay, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks, Coach. Austin Davis, his ninth home run of the year. <laughs> Nunez pounds it to the second baseman, Urdaneta. So far to date. And he loses Bowen. Big catcher even has nine. Swung on and missed. Big strikeout for Jasek as he gets Taylor for the second out. And he jumps on the first pitch and launches it to center. Good. Goodbye, home run. Cole Fontenelle. A two-run shot here in the third. His 12th of the year. Chops this one to short. Richardson runs well. Diaz, strong throw. Uh, Diaz chased the high cheese and couldn't get it. To see a super regional and, and have the kids at home. Silver from deep short, he's got a great arm. Knew at some point we were going to get hot, and you ride that. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of people that quick enough to get to it and take it into left field for a knock. Anthony Silva pops it up on the infield. Rivera at first will have it. And he strikes out. There's a whole bunch of pieces that have come in. Oh my, another rocket, and this one is foul. Barely. Byrne is still running hard, and he's going to be told to go back to first. Runner will be off with the pitch, the 3 2. Swung on and missed, and Jacek gets a couple of K's in the inning. Cold strike three. Comes out cleaner. They're not able to pick it up. High fly ball, right center. Nunez, the captain of the outfield. Won that league going away. Did it again, Flecker, two strikeouts in the inning. So here's a look at our side of the bracket, Indiana State and TCU battling to get to Omaha. And you just get a little stressed out when the numbers aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing.
better than it looks. He is beating some Ooh. of these bats. Ooh, now that rides in and got the elbow pad of Rivera. Did it hit the, the elbow pad? It got the elbow pad. He didn't move. Call is going to stand. The 0 2. Check the swing. Did he go? You bet he did. David Ewell, the first base umpire, ringing up McGill. One down. Ground ball. Should end the inning. Silva, nice play. He'll get it to Richardson. And he loses Fontenelle. Three of them in one game. Oh, they got the runner picked off. Fontenelle is hung up. He's in a run down. And they got him. The Missouri Valley Conference recognizes the fact. Well, now here's Richardson cutting loose, but it's going to stay in the ballpark. 1-2 to Curtis Byrne. Struck him out. Jasic has a quick sixth inning for six among those guys. Line drive right at Silva. One down. This is crunched to center by Luis Hernandez. Going back as Nunez. He hits off the top of the wall. Diving into second base is Luis Hernandez with a one-out double. And maybe that will get the Sycamores going. 2-2, struck him out. He gets Pottinger, one of the best hitters in the lineup. You just feel like you got to get one. You know, you got a guy in scoring position. Early in the inning, there was only one out. He breaks back to his position, and then Klecker goes home. Klecker at TCU, out of the inning. Comfortable with Silva, the shortstop. He's got some pop in his bat. For home runs, has settled in. There's sinker ball out for Jacek. Pitch right here, try to do some damage. Ground ball, deep short, Diaz. They're the pride of the Missouri Valley right now in their 12th national tournament appearance, hosting a regional for the first time. Exits in recent weeks, and he gets him on strikes. Nine strikeouts for Cole Klecker. I mean, this guy's dealing right now. One out here in the seventh. Comebacker. Into the shift, Silva. Grant McGill flies to Nunez. Going into the eighth inning, he'd be like, oh, we're bold. Look out, Nunez getting loose. Not the case back in March and April. He was just pulling it too much. It's going to be tough to get Bowen out, and they won't. You can see that he is a first-round projection for the draft of July, according to Kylie McDaniel. Runner goes, swung on a miss, struck him out. Strike him out, throw him out. That's how you end an inning. Hey, we were down last week, all three games. And they've got the leadoff man in Gurgley aboard. Back up the middle. Richardson to Silva for one, double play. We've talked about Indiana State's defense, Greg. Well, TCU's isn't too shabby either. That was solid. Popped him up. Silva, the shortstop, going back. Line drive, base hit. Second hit for Fontenelle. He'll dig for second. The throw is not in time. Sure did. Richardson, good bump. Davidson throws him out. Well, it's this important. 79% of game one winners go on to the College World Series, and that's going back to 1999. Pop up, a weak ground ball. And this is hit hard to center, and it's going to score the run. Fontenelle can walk home. 1,500 more than the old record. They're going to have to hurry to get Silva. Pottinger's gone. TCU looking for their fourth shutout in the national tournament. They did it against Baylor in 10, Sacred Heart in 15, Oral Roberts. Fly ball, right field. This is carrying. Davis looking up. Goodbye, home run. There goes the shutout. Keegan Watson. His seventh home run of the year. Second straight game with a home run. And Indiana State is still alive. The 0-2. Got it.
Ball game. 